My name is Alex Fergus from alexfergus.com and today I'm having a look at the human charger. Which is this device here, also known as the Valky device, I think that's how you call it. Uh, so I was sent this to play around with uh, because as many of you know, I'm into sleep. I'm also into gadgets, technology, optimizing performance. I do a lot of traveling. Uh, and I have some travel coming up as well. So, um, and I work with clients and, and all those people looking at improving sleep. So the, one of the teams sent me, or I bumped into him in LA at the Bulletproof conference and we got talking about this device and, and I had my doubts and I still do. Um, so he, he explained a bit about it and he said, look, I'm going to send you one. You can test it and, um, see what you think. So it, it, it actually arrived about two weeks ago. And I had it sitting here and I hadn't really got around to opening it. So um, I've just opened it now and yeah, it's a pretty nice device. It comes with, what have I got here? It comes with the, the battery pack, I guess that's what it is, uh, with a big button on it. And then it comes with the headphones, which were in a, which I was playing around with before and then I got in a big tangle. So if anyone can um, come up with tangle free. Headphones, let me know. Well, they, des they deserve to be millionaires, honestly. Uh, anyway, so so they look like earbuds, but they're not. They've actually got little LEDs on the end of them. So when I press the button here, see how they shine? Boom. It's like a whitey, bluey light, right? You wouldn't want that at night. Now they go in the air, and you're getting um, light shine down there. It also comes with, and I'll explain why that would you'd want to do that soon. It also comes with a charger, USB charger. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got some earbud sizing kits, you know, for the big ears and the little ears and stuff. Not that that really matters to be honest because you're not trying to get a seal. Well, I don't, I don't think you are. You're not really trying to get a proper seal so um, you get good sound quality. Uh, you just want a good fit more than anything. So it's still important to have that. Um, and then a bunch of instruction manuals in various languages, which one's English? Here we go. Uh, this is English, yeah. So I'll have to have a read through this. Um, so that's what it comes with. Now, for those of you who have read my article on morning light uh, and how it's important for sleep, you'll know how light, uh, various colors of light, you know, have different impacts on, on the body. So blue light, for instance, is stimulating and you don't want that at night. It suppresses melatonin, can bump up cortisol. It's the last thing you want when you're trying to get to bed, which is why you'll wear blue blockers and dim the lights and everything like that. And you can read about blue light on my blog, alexfergus.com, uh, if, if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, red light, for instance, is very healing, okay? So I've got a red light device, a Juve red light device, and uh, I've written about that as well and how beneficial that is for healing and everything. So another thing is the timing of light exposure can impact the body and in particular the circadian rhythm. So again, blue light late at night is stimulating, all right? You don't want that late at night, but it is beneficial to get that in the morning, all right? And even during the day because that blue light effectively is signaling the body and the brain that, hey, the sun's up, okay? Because anytime you really get that blue light in nature is through the sun. Um, so it's, it's signaling the brain that, hey, the sun's up, you know, Let's go about a day, body temperature should be higher, energy should be higher, reproduction, so like, you, you know, all that sort of stuff. We're digesting food and all that, all that sort of good stuff. But unfortunately, not everyone can get outside in the morning, okay? Um, maybe you work night shift, maybe you're traveling, maybe you just start early mornings, maybe it's really cloud, cloudy or dark. Uh, saying that, it's still better to get outside than stay inside, uh, even if it is cloudy, because you still do get that um, bright light coming through. No, it may not feel that bright. But anyway, so what this device does, it allows you to, to hack the sun in a way. So the body uh, has photoreceptors in the ear canal, okay? Just like in the eyes and even on the skin. Apparently there's a lot in the, the ear. So what this company have done is created these earbuds, light sources that go in the ear. Now the idea is you turn this on for 10, 12 minutes, I think it runs for, chuck them in the ears and uh, that shooting photons, light photons, at a particular wavelength. I don't know exactly, but I think it's a bluey, greeny, uh, I don't think it says in here. I'll have to look at all the data uh, to see exactly uh, exactly the wavelength of light that they're using. Oh, here we go, uh, 450, peak wavelength, 450 nanometers, um, 12 minute duration, 10,000 lux within one centimeter. So it's really bright, okay? So you can really bright um, light going straight into the air. And then that's gonna have a stimulating effect 
pretty much it's like an artificial sun um, and it's going to trigger the body to you know, cause all the good things that happen when the sun comes up in the morning all right and again read about this in my article the importance of morning light for sunlight uh, morning light for sleep because I explain all the science and what's happening on a hormonal and, and uh, neurotransmitter point of view uh, in that article now I don't want that this video to be about that and instead I want it to be about this so um if you're following me on Instagram or Facebook, I share a lot of my sleep stuff, right? I use the aura ring here and many of you know that I sleep really, really good. It's a big passion of mine. Uh, I do whatever I can to get a good night's sleep. So this is why I haven't really been bothered using it lately because, well, since it arrived because I'm already getting good sleep. I got stable sleep patterns. Um, it's not an issue. I'm out for the night. I fall asleep like that. I wear blue blockers at night and we're coming into summer here in New Zealand so it's we, the sun's already up at you know six o'clock in the morning and it's nice bright warm sun so I'm getting outside anyway right so I was like well I don't I, I don't really want to use this like there's not not much point in using it at the moment but I can see the benefits if it does what it's supposed to do I can see the benefits for uh, night shift workers for travelers uh, or for those that live in very northern or southern latitudes for instance, Finland, and that is where this, um, there was a thing somewhere, that, that is where this was designed, as you can see, designed in Finland, right? Because there, come winter time, they're not getting much sun in the morning, right? So, if it does what it's meant to do, it's perfect. 12 minutes, put it in the air, it's going to kickstart you, uh, you know, get the body going, cortisol is going to be bumped up a little bit, you're going to sleep better at night assuming you're wearing blue blockers and everything all those good things are going to happen now there is a bit of controversy controversy around this some people say it's not that effective some people say it's a gimmick i had read those stories and so i was a skeptic which is why uh, i got talking uh, to the company in la and they said look you have to try it so it's been sitting here on my desk for a couple weeks and i played around with it but i was like oh, it's no real use but what's happening is I have just booked some flights to go to Finland, of all places. Not to see these guys, no. Uh, I'm going over there for other reasons. So, that requires something like 40 hours of traveling. Uh, I don't know how many time zones I'm crossing, but it's pretty much the opposite time of where I am in New Zealand. So, when it's my daytime, it's their nighttime and stuff. Plus, it's going into winter time for them. So, they're not getting much sun at all. So, I'm going to take this with me and I'm going to use it and see if it helps. Pretty much how I'm gonna use it every morning when I get up, or at least local time morning, I'm gonna put this on. Even during the day maybe as a bit of a topper. Um, so, that's what I'm gonna be doing over the next week or two. And then I'll be able to give you my thoughts on how effective this device is. So this is the device here. As you can see, it's got a big button on the top. You press that, it glows, and the light goes. Apparently that runs for 12 minutes and then it automatically shuts down. You press it again and you switch it off. The manual here uh, explains silicon fittings, USB connector, um, and then it's got a few uh, benefits in here. So increased mental alertness, increased move, mood, energy levels. Uh, it's saying use the human jar charger on a regular basis once a day within two hours of waking. Um, jet lag recovery. So this is what I'll be using it for. Uh, when you travel across several time zones, you are likely to experience some jet lag. Human Charger is perfect for accelerating your recovery from the unpleasant symptoms of jet lag. If your flight is eastward, use a Human Charger first thing in the morning, four times during the day. So it's got a whole protocol here, all right, depending on which way you're going. But I'm told there's an app, so I'm going to go check out that. For more detail, for the more detailed trip-specific instructions, you can download free Human Charger Commandment app from the store. Shift work, energy boost. If you need to extend your day or wake up particularly early. So you can use it for shift work, jet lag, winter blues, or just on a day where you maybe you slept in or you don't want to go outside in the morning. All right, so I've just downloaded the app, Human Charger app. Let's see what happens with this. Home airport. All right, we will say New Plymouth. Welcome to Human Charger. This app reads your flights from TripIt and then turns them into optimal schedule to beat jet lag. Cool, so I don't have TripIt, but I can get it. All right, so I've been playing around with this app and I can see the flights in here. So it was syncing with TripIt after all. So anyway, crazy. But we're here now. So what we are is uh, here we're Monday afternoon and um, 
tomorrow morning as I scroll through, you can see uh, it's got recommendations as to when you should uh, use the human charger. So it's telling me, you know, in the morning, eight o'clock, I should use it. And then again at 10 o'clock. And then I've got my flight at 11 o'clock and um, it's only a short flight. It's only like an hour long flight. And then I've got my second flight tomorrow, leaving at three o'clock local time, which is 5 a.m. And Doha, where I'm going to be stopping over. Now, that's an 18-hour flight. It's a long way, right? So, and then as I scroll through, it's got all these recommendations, right? So, it's got four times where I should be using it, which align... The first one is 1 o'clock in the morning, New Zealand time, my home time. And then, um, which is 3 o'clock Doha time, all the way through to 8 p.m. Uh, Doha time. Um... Which is interesting because I'm just confused. I'm like, is that um, is that working? So it says a dose taken at this point helps you adjust to local time. Does that mean a local time in Doha or local time at my end destination, which is another flight afterwards? I'm not 100% sure how that's working. Um, I might have to reach out to them. But actually, I'm thinking it is the end goal. At first, I thought it was for Doha because, uh, you know, there's like four flights there and that's... Uh, the floor, four times there and then there was nothing when I landed in Helsinki in the morning, right? I landed 7 o'clock in the morning Helsinki time. So, you, so you'd imagine some light dosages there, right? But then looking at it, it's telling me I need to do these, the human, use the human charger at 9 o'clock Doha time. So anyway, um, I'll, I'll need to clarify that. But if it all is, uh, is aligned with your end goal, as in Helsinki then um, it's pretty cool and it's definitely going to be something that I'll, I'll use uh, to help me adjust. See, for instance, it's telling me I should be using it at 9 o'clock in the evening, Helsinki time, which I, I thought it would be like, you know, you use it during the trip and then you land in Helsinki, 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, you're, you're hammering it and then when the sun goes down at 4 o'clock, oh my God, that's going to be crazy, uh, then you, you back off. So I'm a bit concerned that it's pulling my data from New Plymouth because those are the times. Anyway, look, I'm going to play around with it, but to be honest, I'm a total believer in when it comes to traveling just to get as much sleep as possible <laughs> um, and and then towards the end of the trip, try and adjust to the local time and I will be using this when, uh, when I am waking up and to help kickstart me as well as using caffeine and then blue blockers but I've written a few articles on jet lag so um, I won't go into that but anyway I fly out tomorrow so yeah I'll keep you posted on uh, how it all goes hey guys Alex here so I'm back from my epic Finland trip uh, to Helsinki huge trip uh, 10 days away I think it was Coming back, it, well, going over, it was like 35 hours of traveling. Coming back, I was further north. So it was four flights, an extra flight, 44 hours of traveling, 44 hours door to door. It was insane. Uh, one of the flights was like 17 hours or something. 11 time zones, so it was literally the opposite. You know, like daytime here in New Zealand was nighttime over there. Um, so it was a perfect chance to test this out, the Velky Human Charger, uh, which must have flat batteries right now. Um, anyway, so... Before I left, uh, I mentioned how, you know, I didn't know that much about it and I tried it, I think two or three days, uh, maybe twice, I think that's all I tried it. And I didn't really notice too much, uh, but then I thought about it, I was like, you know what, like, I already feel really good. This is before I left, you know, I, f I feel great, my health's great, my aura ring data was always showing anything from 85 to 95% sleep score, my readiness was really good, I wasn't stressing the body much, I was doing one training a week. Um, I, had, I was doing all the right things when it comes to sleep, right? So, wearing blue blockers, pitch black room, uh, st stable bedtime, you know, consistent bedtime, consistent wake time. Uh, I'd wake up in the morning, I'd go outside and ground. It's summertime here in New Zealand, so the sun's up nice and early. It's bright sun, lots of sunlight. Uh, I'd go outside, I'd get that sunlight in my face. I'd go for about a 40 minute or 30 minute walk. During the day, I'd get back outside, and then, yeah, nighttime would do the opposite, you know, blue light glasses and all that. Um, and I could sleep in, like, you know, I could do whatever I want. Like, I was flexible with my sleep at the time, and yeah, as a result, I was getting amazing sleep data and feeling good. So it was only natural that when I used the product, the, the human charger, the sunlight in your pocket device, that I didn't really notice too much, right? Because, I mean, what? I didn't need 
you know, I didn't need that benefit, so to speak. Um, and then even during the day when I am inside, every now and then I'll just go outside for a walk or I'll check the garden and stuff. And uh, check out my vlog at alexfergus.com and you can you can see more about these things and how I live my life in that. But yeah, I'm going to just pull up a few, few data points here. So this is the ordering app. Um, check out my review and there is a new one just been announced. So I'm excited to see that. So this is before I left, right? Like look at these sleep scores. 91, 85, 88, um, 85, 84, 94. Like they're really good scores and the bottom line there is deep sleep. So. You know, my sleep's not an issue, right? And, you know, I'm getting like nine hours sleep and stuff. Readiness scores as well were... Look at this stuff. This readiness score is based on, um, once it focuses in, based on HRV, heart rate, or sleep, you know, activity. Look at these readiness scores. 94%, 87, 80, 85, 86, 87, 85. Right, so the reason I'm showing you this is I was, I am healthy, I don't stress the body too much, I'm getting a lot of sunlight, I sleep great. So, this is, a per, uh, is designed to help the body when we don't have perfect sleep, we don't have bright light, uh, when we are traveling, um, when we're stuck indoors, you know, when you're not living the life I am, when here it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I have a shirt off, I've just been out in the garden in the sun, right? A lot of you are, are stuck in offices or trucks or wherever and you might not be able to get outside and get that sun or you're living in northern climates and you don't get the sun you know until three o'clock or until like 10 11 o'clock in the day and then it sets at three o'clock like it did in Helsinki which is crazy um so or you you know you're doing a lot of traveling and in that case I realized that this actually is a good product an amazing product because it can help you get the things that I'm getting here in a no normal life so for instance when I was traveling in the morning, uh, in Helsinki for instance, it was so dark, right? And then the sun would come up, like hardly come up, it would be cloudy, so it's not a very bright day, and then it's only, it's just hovering on the horizon, and then it's sitting again at 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. There's just not my sun around. So, using this, I could mimic the sun uh, without, you know, uh, while I was sitting inside or sitting on a plane. Um, and I noticed, like, it was giving me a bit of a stimulating hit. Uh, again, I didn't notice this prior to going, but when I was there, it was a lot more pronounced. And I think it was because here, I didn't need it, you know, like I was getting the sun from outside. But over there, I wasn't getting the sun. And it was like, wow, you know, this is, this is doing something. Um, and then from a circadian alignment, circadian rhythm, jet lag point of view, here's my thoughts. This helped. Uh, and I'll show you how it helps using the app. I'll get into that soon. This helped when I got to Helsinki. I went to bed the first night around 10:30, 11 o'clock, right, local time. That was 9:30 in the morning New Zealand time. Now I'll admit I didn't get a ton of sleep on the trip over. Uh, I think I got you know like five hours sleep on one flight and then about three hours on the other, and it was like 35 hours of traveling. So yes, I was quite tired. But in previous trips before I've had this device. Even despite the bad sleep, when I got to the destination, I'd be exhausted, but you'd go to bed and you'd just be like, you know, your mind was racing, I just couldn't sleep. And that happened in America, for instance, on a recent trip, where I was up till like, you know, three o'clock in the morning, just lying there in bed. And so it was funny because I went to bed tired, exhausted, thinking, I really hope I get to sleep. And I did. Like, my sleep latency time in the Aura app was was tiny, it was minuscule. I don't even remember like falling asleep, you know, it was one of those nights where you get into bed, turn the light off and, and then you'd wake up. So that was great. And um, again, it's very hard to quantify this exactly, like what would have happened if I didn't have this. I don't know, I can't, I can't do that unfortunately. But I did know that I was falling asleep bang on, you know, 10, 30, 11, every single night of that trip. What didn't happen though was I didn't stay asleep for an extended period. So I was waking, about six hours later, uh, at about five o'clock, 4.30, 5 o'clock, pretty much every morning in that Finland trip, I'd wake up. Which is funny because that time is like three o'clock in the afternoon, local time, New Zealand. So it wasn't like I was waking up at, you know, nine o'clock in the morning, uh, local time, uh, sorry, New Zealand time, you know, when you'd expect to wake up, or eight o'clock in the morning. I was waking up in the middle of the afternoon, which was kind of weird. But the point was, I was falling asleep fast, which is a big thing for traveling, and I was getting good sleep in those six hours, all right? It was just shorter. Um, 
And yeah, so I, I noticed that and then during the day, uh, I would just be hammering this, which is why the battery's gonna float again. I would just be hammering this all day. So I'd get up, put it in, two hours later, use it again, during the day, use it again. And of course in Helsinki, it was very dark, right? The winter time over there, so, or I was indoors the whole time. Like, uh, if I did get outside, it was freezing, there was no sun, it was cloudy, so you'd run back inside. So this was like a perfect substitute, you know, so. And again, that's what it's, I realize now, that's what it's for. That's who it's for. People live in those climates. People who can't get outside. People stuck in offices. People who work night shift. People who travel a lot. That's what it's for. And that's kind of why I didn't really notice much and that now I'm noticing a lot. So, um, really cool. And then, yeah, I was using that during the day and in the morning to adjust. And then uh, I was there for about a week, so I was using it every day. And then coming home, I loaded my flight into TripIt. Okay, so... There was an app I set up the other day before I left. And now, it's really cool. I should have done it a few days before I left because what it does is it pulls in all that data and looks at where you're going and the time zone difference and then tells you when you should be using the app and everything prior to going. Sorry, the, the device prior to going. I used I set that up like the night before. Like it was a bit silly. So when I loaded in the data before I left this time, it was already giving me recommendations to help sync, you know, my, my light cycles. So, uh... I got the app here. Um, I hope it's still got my flights on it. Yeah, it does. All right, so, oh, maybe it doesn't. No, it looks like I've lost the flights. But anyway, I'll show you what was happening. So this is before I left, and you'll see down here it's got program starts, and then it's just giving you these reminders, like when to use the, um, the device. See those little sunlight graphs there and then if you turn on notifications it just pop up it's human charger time so then when i was in the airport in the plane uh whenever that went i just i just put the device in my ear and fired it up and it was actually really cool and it worked the the time recommendations actually worked well like i at first i was kind of like why is it saying them but then i looked at it i was like i can see how it's sort of shifting me across uh so then for instance you know, I got on my long 16 hour flight, I think I used it for a little bit to stay up a while and it was slowly pushing me back into that New Zealand time zone. Then I had a good, you know, 12 hour period without it. Uh, and then I woke up from my sleep and it was telling me to use it again, which is good. And then I, then I arrived in New Zealand, 5 o'clock in the morning, and I actually got outside, I had a five, 4 hour layover, so I hung out outside and waited for the sunrise to come up. But then it was saying, use it again, use it again throughout the day. And then it was like pushing me to use it even later in the day, you know, in the afternoon, just to, um, you know, so I could, just to, to keep me fresh, you know, keep me awake. It was like middle of the day, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, like, get that sunlight, get that sunlight, rather than, be, because... Three days prior, that exact time would have been, you know, midnight in Helsinki. So, like, I'd kind of adjusted to that. So, anyway, I'm kind of rambling here. But the idea was following the recommendations helped. And even today, like, it just told me to do the morning light at 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock uh, in the morning today, local time. So, I did that. Of course, I went outside for my walk. And, of course, it's, the sun's out already today, so I'm being outside. Uh, tonight, it's got no recommendations. And then tomorrow morning at the end. So, um, yeah, I mean... That helped me. The app really helped. I didn't know there was an app at first, so uh, that's why I was so late setting it up. But I'm definitely going to use it for other trips. I'm going to set it well up in advance. Am I going to use it day to day? No, not over summer, because again, I've got the sun out there and all the good things the sun does. Um, will I use it if I'm traveling? Yes. Will I use it in wintertime in New Zealand? Yes. Will I use it if there's a day when I can't get outside or it's really cloudy and miserable and I don't want to get outside? Yes. Do I think it's helping me uh, with circadian rhythm and alignment. Yes. Do I uh, know for a fact it's working? Um, it's hard to answer. I mean, the science behind it is really solid. Uh, so I'm going to do a blog article looking at some of that science. I know the power of morning light and blue light for stimulating cortisol and suppressing melatonin. I know all about that. So I understand that. Um, but that was more looking at the eye and the skin. However, I am learning that there are photoreceptors, you know, in the air, so it makes sense. Uh, while I was in Finland as well, I spoke to some very smart people, uh, very, very smart people, um, not related to the Valky company or the Human Charger company. And because this is a Finnish company, um, they were aware of it, you know, and, and some of them used it, or they saw me using it, and they were saying, oh, that's a really good product, like, the, the science behind it is solid, like, a lot of a lot of the locals use it so that was kind of reassuring because um you know again these guys were independent uh 
I mean, it was a Finnish company and they were Finnish, so there may be some bias there, but you know, they were switched on smart people and I don't think they'd just be you know, hyping something up for the sake of it. So learning that was good. My personal experiences now, I can, I've just shared them with you. Um, and I, there were a few other travelers uh, with me and they were using it. You know, one guy from America, he was using it every day uh, and he swore by it as well. So that's my take on the human charger. Um, don't know what else to say. Check out the blog at alexfigures.com where I do a full review um, and look at a bit more of the science. Check out my article on morning sunlight and why you need it for sleep. Check out my article on blue light and why you need to block blue for sleep. Uh, make sure you get a pair of blue blockers as well. Any questions you have about this device or if you're still a data, um, leave, leave your feedback or questions or comments in the uh, feedback section or comment section below and uh, I'll answer them or I'll try and find the answer to them if I don't know it for sure. If you do get it, do understand that there is an app as well. If the people from Valky or Human Charger are watching this, here's my tip for you. Update the app. It's a little bit clunky, a little bit outdated. Update the app and maybe put in like recommended sleep times as well for when you're traveling because I still had to try to figure out oh, when's the best time to go to sleep and stuff, especially while flying. That would be really cool. That would just, you know, set the app apart. Um, but yeah. All right. So three o'clock in the afternoon, I've got to go back to work and do some other stuff. Again, any questions, let me know. It's Alex here from alexfergus.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit subscribe because I do a ton of reviews. Check out my vlog if you haven't, my authentic Alex blog, vlog, uh, and you can see more about my life and you can even see how I'm using this on a day-to-day -day life. Follow me on Instagram, alexfergus underscore coach. I share a lot of little stories and insights into my day as well. And um, that's all, bye.